Morning Saugus. I'm Sharon Nuso, and today is Monday, September 24th. And I'm Katie Garibay, and this is SNN. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd let you know why a trophy is a symbol of victory. In ancient Greece, after a victory on the battlefield, they would build a monument dedicated to a chosen god. They call these statues trophies. Play stand for the flag salute. Play stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Last week, Mrs. Keckley, a teacher at Arroyo Seco, found a lost dog gravely injured after being hit by a car on the side of Vasquez Canyon Road. She took the dog to the vet, but needs help to cover the very expensive surgery costs. You can call in donations for Bella at the phone number listed below or submit directly to GoFundMe by searching Saving Bella or at the link also listed below. In other news, sophomores and juniors can now register to take the PISA on October 10th. The cost is $22 and you can pay in the ASB office. There is a limited number of exams. If you are not feeling well or have injured yourself, get a pass from your teacher and head to the health office. Do not contact your parents and expect to be summoned from class. LifeTouch will be coming to do makeup photos on Wednesday, September 26th in the Q Corps from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Any 9th to 11th grade students who do not have a picture taken during registration must have their picture taken on, a, on September 26th to receive an ID and be pictured in the upcoming yearbook. Now, let's go to Tanner Risley with your ASB Minute. Hey Saugus, it's Tana Risley with this week's ASB Minute. Remember that tomorrow is our UCLA blood drive from 7.45 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. in the gym. If you have not yet turned in your forms, you can turn them in today and tomorrow, but you are not guaranteed to be pulled out of the period of your choice. Also, football will be playing against Hart this Friday at 7.30 at COC. The Blue Crew theme is patriotic and we will be seated on the away side of the stadium. Make sure to head over to the outdoor stage at brunch on Friday for the Heartbreaker brunch time. That's it for me, now on to Olivia Kern with your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Olivia Kern with your sports news. Swim team tryouts for the spring competition roster will be this Thursday at 4 p.m. at the San Clarita Aquatic Center. To sign up, you can contact Coach Botten in X2413 or Coach Klipfeld in P1705. The Patches O'Callaghan 5-on-5 five five Intramural Dodgeball Tournament will take place in the gym at lunch. Sign-up sheets are available in the ASB office and all students are eligible to play. Great prizes like Dodger World Series tickets will be given to the winning teams. And don't forget to dodge, dip, dive, duck, and dodge. That's all for me. Stay tuned for a message on Selective Service. I want you. Hello, boys. I've got a mission for you. And you gals in the audience should tune in, because this affects you, too. I want you men to register with the Selective Service. It's not optional, fellas. It's the law. Every male between 18 and 25 must register. It only takes two minutes. And it's for your country, your opportunity, and your freedom. Some of you look confused. Let me explain it to you. How does America defend itself? The armed forces, which are currently all volunteer. But what if there's an emergency, like World War III, and we need more people than those who volunteer? Then we might need a draft to bring in additional young men to help win the conflict. And that's where the selective service system comes in. No one has been drafted since 1973, and no one has ended up in the armed forces unless they volunteered. What is registration? It's a safety net protection for our freedom. It's really a database, a way to keep track of exactly how many young men are available in case of a national emergency. So, why register? Well, because it's the law. Two minutes, boys, is all we ask, all we require. Register for the selective service. Do it for your freedom. Do it for your country. Do it for yourself. 
It's the law. Remember, it's the law. The financial aid night will be taking place at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, September 25th in the NPR. All students and parents are invited to attend. The presentation will cover how to apply for your financial aid with state, federal, and campus loans, grants, work study, Cal, Cal, Cal grant applications, the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized loans, how to read a financial aid statement, important deadlines, and online resources for the financial aid process. Students must carry their ID cards at all times when on campus. Failure to do so will result in the loss of off-campus campus privileges. Discover Portugal and Spain during winter break 2019. There will be an informational meeting in X2411 this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. For those interested in going to Costa Rica next summer, there will be an informational meeting on Thursday, September 27th at 6 p.m. in M1307. That's all for today. I'm Sharon Uxell. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus today. And I'm Katie Garibay. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.